Hello YouTube, it's me Unicorn Guy here with a uh, video about Cave Story. So, before I start playing the game, there's a, a little story to be had about Cave Story. So, I would say around 2004, I, I think it was probably 2004, 2005, I had a uh, Windows XP machine, an HP Vectra, with... A Pentium 3 processor and 512 megabytes of RAM and a 5 gigabyte hard drive. And I thought I was doing pretty good for myself at the time. Even for, uh, I think, 2004, 2005 specs, that was pretty bad. But, you know, I thought I was doing pretty good for myself. So, um, I think this was around when GameCube was popular. And I had just gotten one, but there really wasn't anything much to play. It, it was a really awkward period for me because I, because Legend of Zelda was, at the time I had just kind of given up on it. Like uh, the Wind Waker, I was stuck at the Forsaken Fortress, which was basically like the second thing you do in the game. And so I was like, oh well, you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, you know, quit with that. So I turned to PC gaming, and uh, of course. You know, there wasn't anything, there wasn't, you know, much I could run on that machine that I could buy in a store. And plus, at the time, you know, I just didn't have, you know, money to just buy PC games all over the place. So, I would go to the internet and I would look for freeware games. Uh, I can't remember, there was one website I used to go to all the time, but I forgot what it was again. Uh, I forgot what it was. But on this website, I found this game called Cave Story. And I was like, oh, what is this? So I downloaded it. Um, at the time, I was still using dial-up. So this took about probably an entire day to download. If not until the next day. So I downloaded this file. And I was like, oh boy, let's go and play it. I first started up and I was like, whoa, the music's really cool and whatnot. And then... That's what started my love for Cave Story. Now, this game has been ported to the Wii and to Nintendo DS and the 3DS, actually. Which I had no idea there's a 3DS title now, but I kind of want to check that out. The 3DS title, uh, the 3DS version of uh, Cave Story. And that amazes me that this first started as a simple little freeware PC game, and now it's, you know, blown up to, to become an actual, like, console title. That just it it just boggles my mind, and that's and that's my little story about Cave Story. So let's go ahead and load up a new game. Uh, if I remember the controls, there we go. The story is pretty cool too. You're gonna miss some of the uh, awesome music though. I forgot that this game doesn't scroll automatically. Yeah, so, without giving too much of the story away, basically you're this, uh, well, on first impression you don't know which really you are. You kind of look like just some random guy with, uh, a green thing sticking out of your head. Um, I don't want to give, I'm trying to, not, I'm trying not to, you know, give away too much of the story because, uh, this, uh, this is a really good game. But basically, you're a robot from the surface. That was in some sort of war, and now you're here trying to figure out, you know, you're trying to pick up the pieces of the puzzle. And that guy right there, uh, he is, I think, the professor's grandson. Uh, there's a good professor and a bad professor in this game. He'll, he'll, uh, the bad professor is the guy who wants to kill all the uh, little rabbit things. I think they're called Migmas or something like that. But yeah, it's, I, I don't want to give away too much of the story, but then again, I don't want to make this game just, I don't, I don't want to just say, oh yeah, this game's good, buy it, or I mean, go get it. Which, if you download the deluxe version, it's like 45 megabytes, so you're not really, you're not really wasting too much of your time, especially with high-speed internet. So 
So you go here, and you get your first gun. Now, um, this game is just so amazing because it has such a cult following. Like, there's so much fan art for this stuff and whatnot. Yeah, you meet up with this guy later on in the game. I remember when, uh, when it took me forever to get to that part of the game where you, <laughs> it's, it's literally like the third part of the game. And now I can probably get to it within an hour, 15 minutes. Really before when I was playing this, it was, I mean, well, now that I've had experience with the game before, it was kind of a foreign experience. Uh, you can remap the keys to, uh, the movement keys to WASD, but I haven't done that, and I'm using the, uh, arrow keys. By the way, this game was originally in Japanese, so the deluxe version, well, you can actually download it, just the game itself, the Japanese game, and then apply the, uh, English translation patch. We go here and save. It's, there are times where I just want to, you know, kind of just get lost in the music and just start listening to it. There is one part where it's, uh, oh yeah, also you can level up your guns. So as you see, now I have, uh, two of those little bullets instead of just one. Eventually you can level it up where it's just like a white block going across the screen, not like going across the entire screen, but, you know, white black about the size of you. And I've also think that the, uh, I also think that the range is a little bit better, too. Yeah. Sue is somehow a Mimigma and somehow her brother, too. I mean, her si that guy's brother, too. No, that guy's sister. Sorry about that. But, uh... But yeah, somehow that works. Go figure. I actually really want to finish this game now. He's probably one of the coolest uh, characters in the game, I, I think, at least. Let's see. There's a unique item you can get around here somewhere. Oh, I think it's... Yeah, I think I have to use the... Uh, come back with the machine gun. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you get the machine gun, which you can either trade the Polar Star to... Uh, uh, I think the other robot's... Curly? Yeah, I think it's Curly. You can trade the uh, your Polar Star to her and get the machine gun. And when you fully upgrade the machine gun, the machine gun allows you to uh, use a sort of a jetpack. You also get jetpack later on in the game too, I believe. But that's like pretty much at almost at the end of the game. So that's her locket. And then, uh, I think with Curly's, I think you can get a, uh, air canister or something like that, so that way when that runs down, it fills it right back up to 100 again. I sort of miss, like, these old, like, style games, these old side-scrollers. In fact, this game actually wanted me to be one. one uh, I wanted to become a programmer because of this game, just because of this game. So there you go. Now I just want to be an engineer. I think this guy gets taken away. Yeah, 
and there's a whole like backstory behind this game, and I'm sure that if you didn't want to play the game and you just wanted to find out the story because it interests you, just go ahead and Google the story. I'm sure somebody is like completely translated it and whatnot. Probably there is uh like some fan projects and whatnot. There is like a uh yeah behind here if you get the bubbler you can uh oh, wait a minute. No, wait, you have to get the jellyfish juice or whatever it's called. We put out the fire, and then behind there, there's the bubbler. It's safe to say that I sunk a lot of hours into this game. So it's... I mean, basically, without... Playing the whole entire game, like right now. Oh, I actually can't believe I got that. Now, how do I use the map? That's to switch weapons. And that's the map system. Not the best map system in the world, but it's tolerable. Now, how do I get out? Alright, there we go. Yeah, but this this game is just amazing. Let's go in here because I think you'll meet the enemy now. How do I? There you go. Now here you get to see the doctor's henchmen, if uh, if they uh, come out. I think this is this is when they come out around here. Yeah, this is it. These are doctors, uh, henchmen. Now this part's great. And that's how you can just completely skip the first boss fight of the game. So, that's pretty much it. That's Cave Story in a nutshell. Uh, to get, the, to get uh, the key to this place, this is Arthur's house, you have to go to the graveyard. Um, I think if you talk to King, he'll call Jack over. And then you can just get to the... Uh, graveyard that way and then you can search Arthur, Arthur's grave to find a spare key strange place to keep a spare key is in your own grave oh well but uh yeah that's cave story basically uh this is unicorn guy signing off and thanks for watching